privacy notices. Privacy notices should be easily accessible. So for the pupils and parents privacy notice, we recommend that you put one up in your reception and you have one on your website. When should you be sending out the privacy notices? From this perspective, you should be sending out the link to the privacy notice on the very first correspondence that you send out to the parents when you're going to have the children start your school. You should provide a link to the privacy notice and you should also mention that if they do not have access to the internet, that you'd be happy to print one off and send it to them. What kind of information should be on your privacy notice? The information that should be on your privacy notice is who is the data controller, who is going to be your DPO, so you should put on their email address and the actual name of the DPO, what's the purpose and legal basis of why you're collecting that data, which majority of it will be public interest, who is the data going to be shared with, or you're going to have to name all your data processes as well, and you're going to have to use their names. So you can't say um, MIS provider, you're going to have to state who your MIS provider is. Who are you sharing the data with? How long are you going to keep it? And if there are any issues with regards to data, the right to lodge a complaint with the ICO. Also, if you're going to be using a legal basis of consent, the right to withdraw consent should also be mentioned on your privacy notice. You also need a separate privacy notice for staff. We recommend that you put it in the staff room and you have it on your website. The other place you should put it is an application form so any applicant knows where you're going to be sharing that data.